policy in the U.S. with a designated driver. What do you mean? <laughs> Showing the insurance. Oh. And I was like, holy shit, this is a party. <laughs> this was like an oasis oh, in the desert. Of, yeah, everyone was locked down and they had taken care of the virus in one month. <laughs> and I just took a picture of everything. Oh. Have you ever finished one? No, I think it's not possible. I was supposed to, I spent money on it. Maybe I know, but it's not enjoyable. Thank you. Downstairs? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. You've never I'm been not here? The That's funny. Like the one in Beijing is very special. Um, I like your ribbon. Thank you. Very pretty. <laughs> yeah.
are you taking a video? I'm just taking a video. Why does that have to be? Oh, it tastes better than the first time. Should have gotten what? From the first time. Can't really see it. Oh, it's good. Hi guys, welcome to my New York vlog. I feel like this is going to be probably the last one this year. I just am like not look all I'm just like not really feeling it. But anyway, I was here last week and then I didn't really vlog this past weekend. I was with my family. So I went there Saturday, Sunday, and today's Monday. So I'm back in the city, which I'm so happy about. I feel like so alive, you know? And I'm just so excited to get back into my workouts. I went to Legree. Well, I came back to the city, took a ginger shot went to Legree and then went back to Joe and the Juice to have a tuna cotto sandwich because I didn't want to eat before Legree 
and then I just came to my hotel. I'm staying at Freehand. This is the one that I stayed at last week as well. My room last week was a little bit bigger, but I had a smaller bed. I don't know what's up with that, but this is definitely a smaller room. I think my omakase is getting rescheduled because I'm having dinner at Nare Sushi, which is omakase, and it looks really good from the photos, so I hope it is really good. I haven't been at this place. It's like closer to the Upper East Side, but it's like on 55th, I think, so it's like barely on the cusp of like Upper East Side or Turtle Bay. So that's what's going on today. I'll do like a get ready with me today just because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while and it has been like, oh, it has been a little bit. So it has been a little bit. The train ride here wasn't too bad. I think I should run, but I just, I literally just ate like an hour ago. So I feel like maybe I shouldn't. I'm actually supposed to go home tomorrow, but my work dinner determines whether or not I'm going home. Because I'm like nervous. I'm excited to eat, but I'm nervous for the conversation because my boss recently resigned, which is part of the reason why I've been in shambles. I've been very sad, very depressed, very just, just all kinds of things, okay, all kinds of things. I just like haven't been in the best mood and I definitely feel like I am just like not giving everything 100% and I feel like I should. Hopefully that changes. Tomorrow I do have a cavitation session and then I have Legree and then I have a meeting, like a few meetings that I have to go to, so it'll be quite an early day. I kind of want to head to the gym in the morning as well and I need to figure out like the hotel stuff because they don't have the same room that I'm in like available for tomorrow so well I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay like two days or one day but I only booked one day just in case because my flight is tomorrow at four which is like initially what it's booked for like I said the dinner will determine whether or not I stay longer so we'll see I'm kind of like anxious because I just want to get this over with but now it's being pushed back to I think it's being pushed back to five or six. It was supposed to be at like 4.30. I was able to check in a little bit earlier, which I'm happy about, but my view from my room sucks so bad. I'm gonna clean up a bit. Maybe I won't run. I'll just run after dinner and like let it digest a little bit. And then I'll start getting ready and do a little bit of work on my computer and get that all done so I can get settled. But yeah, that's my afternoon. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. I thought I would give you guys a little tour of my room. It's very tiny, of course, as all of them are. This one actually is a shower. The one that I had before was a tub. So it looks like that. Empty. This one's so small. Then bath mat. This is the sink area. On the other one, I put like my blow dryer and stuff on top of there. So it's nice to have a little bit of like shelving space. And I feel like if I get an apartment in the city and it has like no space, this is kind of like something that would be more ideal or like shelving on the side if there is even space for that. <laughs> I feel like you get nothing in the city. And then again, these weird toilets that are like look like public toilets. I think that's very strange. And we have that in corporate housing as well. In the apartment that I stayed at earlier, they had a toilet like this and I was so confused because that's like what you see in public restrooms. Anyway, and then this is the desk area, little chair, nice lamp. And then this is a king bed. The one that I had before was a queen. Closet here, the closet has a steamer, some robes and a hairdryer, I believe because there's nowhere to store it in the restroom. That's what this one has. The other one had like a black box on top of it. I don't know what that was. The view is like nothing, so I just closed the blinds because I don't know, it was kind of weird just staring at a brick wall. This is like the entryway. You can also hang up like coats, jackets and stuff on top of there. It also has this mirror. Look at my waist. I feel like this mirror is like making me look skinnier than I am. Like it's, it looks very weird. I don't know, kind of strange. Maybe I am getting skinnier, but so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the rest of the day and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup now. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. I don't think I'm keeping the 430 reservation, so I'm just kind of brushing a little bit just because I don't really know what time I have to be there anymore. I'm just trying to get my makeup and my hair done in a timely manner. My cousin gave me some warheads and I forgot how much I love warheads. They're like they were my favorite candy when I was younger. I just ate the yellow one. It was so good. She gave me like one of every color. Sorry guys, I need to listen to sad Taylor Swift songs because that's my mood right now. <laughs> Not for any particular reason, just, I don't know. Just, this is how I feel. We're gonna start with this is me trying. <laughs> Literally. I'm gonna just do my makeup. I'm not gonna talk through it because I literally am not sure like how much time I have right now. Let's just try to get it done.
I didn't tell you guys before, but I ended up forgetting my setting spray, which is like so horrible. I'm so sad. And I haven't purchased a new one because I don't want to because I'm literally leaving in like a day or two. I don't need it that bad, but my makeup just has not been hitting the same. And I forgot my foundation. I brought the Jouer concealer, so it's like similar to my skin tone. So I think that should work for now. It's like so depressing, like missing steps. I just realized my room is close to the elevator and it's like the most annoying thing ever right now because I keep hearing like the little ding. I'm gonna leave the camera on and do my eyes but if it cuts out then it cuts out. I don't know what to say. Let's go ahead and do my hair and then I'll show you guys my outfit and my completed look for dinner tonight. It's 4.18 and I still don't know what time dinner is. I'll wait soon. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys. If it looks like I just woke up, it's because I did. Um, we were supposed to have a uh, work dinner at 4.30 or like around 4 or 5. But... At like 5.15, I was getting messages that people were just going out to dinner in like their own little group. And I feel like I've been excluded from a lot of things just because my boss recently resigned. And so things are kind of a little strange. I just feel like very anxious about that. Not that like I'm on bad terms with anybody. I'm not. It's just that my boss was kind of like holding my hand throughout the whole time I've been with the company. So obviously this is very new to me and I have to like do everything on my own and basically like enter the workforce. <laughs> I, feel like. I just wish I would have known that so I could have ordered some food because I'm very hungry. I'm not like upset or anything. I'm just kind of like, okay, it's like normal. I feel like every company is like that and everyone has their own little cliques. Obviously I work in LA so it doesn't really bother me. I mostly work remote so I'm not here all the time and even when I move here I won't be at the office that often which is good. So yeah, I'll still be able to work a little bit remote just because that's my contract terms. I don't know what's going on to be honest. I need to like, oh my gosh, I forgot it was vlogtober. I just saw Imani's post. Oh, what the hell? Okay, well, I'm gonna order some food. I did not have water for three hours. I just got Chipotle for dinner. You guys, I booked a 6.30 a.m. yesterday because I thought that I was gonna leave earlier, right? I just changed my flight. Turns out, <laughs> turns out, I also booked a 6.30 a.m. in Tribeca, which I had no idea about. I thought it was for, I thought it was for Wednesday. I don't even know how I'm gonna get to Tribeca tomorrow. I think it's like a walk. I still have to, I think it's Worth Street. The transit, like how am I gonna get there? It's gonna take me 30 minutes to get there, so I have to wake up at 5.30. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, I have to wake up. I have to wake up at 5.30. Take the 6 and then I have a 7 minute walk from there. I know exactly where it is. It's unfortunate. But that means we get an extra day of vlogs, which I'm excited about. I know today's kind of weird because like, I just got into the city and like, it's kind of weird and like, foggy. But, I'll show you guys what I got. I got a quesadilla. This is like the, what's his name? That guy on TikTok. I think he like had to probably bring back the quesadilla. I'm gonna take my collagen. These are my favorite collagen from Vita Butte. I got the corn, sour cream, and some beans. I'm so hungry. Why did they put the fajitas and just like throw them in there? Are you for real? Like, like what? Okay. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna have sushi, the sushi that I wanted after i'm only allowed to i'm not allowed to have like carbs or like high fat high sugar stuff so mm. Mm. chips and queso are so good that is so annoying why did they put the fajitas like that The steak is kind of dry, I feel it. I also got guac. I haven't had Chipotle's guacamole in a while. It's okay, like it's not the best. 
I like chipotle corn, but I don't really like red onions, but I eat the red onions because they're in this corn salad. This chipotle order is not that great, <laughs> but it's okay. I'll eat it. I'm so hungry because the only thing I had was the Joe and the Juice mm, sandwich and the ginger shot. But I think it's like okay to just have two meals a day. Like that's plenty. And then I also have more water. I cannot believe my workout is so early. At home, I feel like it's fine because obviously I just walk like a few blocks and the studio is there. But I have to... I have to get on the subway. I'm a little anxious. I've never been on the I've never been on the train that early. I mean I guess it's fine so I can start my day early, but why am I gonna do that? What the hell? But oh my gosh. I love beans. I don't eat baked beans though, that's just weird. But I like black beans and pinto beans. I like when my grandma makes it. Cause she puts like she puts like chicharron in it. And it's so good. Mm. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys, good morning. I have to head out right now. It's already 6 a.m. and I have a oh, I have a 6:30 class. We're going to go like brunch. I'm trying to rush. This is the fastest I can go. I accidentally booked a class in Tribeca. I think I told you guys last night. My outfit just like simple. I hope I can get there without any issues. See. I really need a hair tie. Okay, I just brought some for like my AirPods. I've never taken the subway this early, so I hope I don't nothing happen. I just like to put them around my AirPods, so I have like something to tie my hair. So I just go like this. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hi, for Jenny. For Jenny. Jenny. Thirteen. Okay, thank you. Fresh ginger shots, or is it just those? Hi guys, so I got back from Legree. I did a 6.30 class, which actually was not that bad. Like if you live near the Legree studio, obviously it took me like 20 minutes or like 25 minutes to get back to Gramercy from Tribeca, which is not like too bad if you're like commuting, I guess, but it's still kind of like far. I love the 6 a.m. class, but that doesn't give me time to do tread. So I don't know. I think it just depends like what your fitness goals are. Like if you can work out later in the day, then good. But if not, then maybe do like a later class but it also depends like what time you go into the office too i guess also i got a juice shot from juice generation it's just a ginger shot it's so strong it's like stronger than the joe and the juice ones but i think maybe that's better they have fresh ones but the one that i got is seven dollars if you get it fresh but they also have the pre-made ones that are like in little bottles that's easy to like just grab and go those are five i think like 6 30 is a good time for a workout or do not like 7 30 and then you go home get ready for work whatever maybe you're in the office at like 8 30 or 9 it gives you like a pretty good amount of time especially if you're working in fida i feel like you could get ready pretty fast i saw that there were actually a lot of people like on the subway already ready and like going to work in like murray hill and there definitely were days that i had to go in at like 8 a.m or like 7 30 and obviously like sometimes we'll have meetings at like 8 30 and 8 30 here but 5 30 pacific standard time the timing is so like weird but i actually kind of like being on eastern time just because i feel like you're like ahead of everybody and like of everything that's why i thoroughly enjoy waking up early when i'm at home 
being in the city sometimes is like nice and like it's cool but i definitely feel like i'm one of those people who have not taken advantage of coming to new york and like of all like the touristy things and all the things to do here i wouldn't say that i'm closed-minded but i definitely feel like i feel like there's it's overhyped i'm gonna take a shower put some makeup on and get ready i also want to pack up the majority of my room i think i'm just gonna give it a little curl today just because i didn't curl it yesterday i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair yet but i'll do my makeup with you guys we're in this itty bitty bathroom look at the sink should be criminal i didn't really show you guys but like look it's literally this is my hand like please please like my hand can touch the front of this in the back of the sink like that is criminal actually you can barely wash your face in there it's crazy i'll show you guys a skincare routine that i brought this is the faded topicals and i put this wherever i feel like i remember that i have dark spots also my botox here like the bruise never went away or like the little scar this side is gone i got it here because of the wrinkles in my under eyes so i'm so happy i can get ready going to this place because my Ligree class was not that late. I'm gonna use Lancome Genifique and like one drop each side. Sorry, this is an ugly angle. Then we're gonna do a pump of vitamin C. I literally only have like one day to myself when I go home. I'm so sad. But then I get to be home for a while, so I'm excited about that. And I'm gonna use the LMS oil. Second to last, we're gonna use my Drunk Elephant. This is my Drunk Elephant Cream. I'm gonna put a little bit on the under eyes. And then I said second to last because I have to put on sunscreen. Don't forget sunscreen. I'm gonna put on my rings. I forgot to put them on this morning. That's why I don't typically like taking them off. You don't really have to since they're all 14, 18 k gold. Let's go ahead and do makeup. I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. Can't believe I don't have setting spray. I just got dressed and going to attempt to do my hair. I don't know if I want to wear this top. Like, I really like it, but I feel like it could be a little longer. This door, like, does not stay put. I'm just going to curl my hair a little bit. It's not going to stay, probably. It's going to be a little humid today, but it's okay. I haven't curled it in a while, and I brought my curling iron, so since it's the last full day that I'm here, I figured I would just give it a little curl i just wanted to have like all my stuff packed before i left but who knows if that's gonna happen it's so weird like i can't move my face because of my botox but i love it oh my gosh like all the sub okay side note i took the subway and i feel like it's been a while since i've taken it actually but it reeked of like urine it was so disgusting that's why like i just prefer to uber is this like at what cost at what cost i'm just like not used to it oh my god what is going on right now my eyes are kind of dry i don't know this top looks a little weird i feel like i should not wear it i think i'm just gonna change into the other white shirt that i was wearing but i need to put all my stuff away now hi guys so i changed into this top this one as opposed to the other one i'm just gonna wear my headband whatever i don't want my hair in my face so let's head to the other hotel i'm staying at kixby next let's go check it out i'm sorry all the vlogs have been inside the hotel room but i'm gonna see money today so i'll vlog what we do it's just because like i don't know when i'm by myself i feel like it's not that interesting i kind of just like walk around and do my own thing but let's go <laughs> I am back and I went to the diamond district just to check things out because I was curious I always am when I come here but I feel like it's so intimidating to go up to any of the places here because a lot of them already have like their clientele and everything and like maybe that's how some people feel in the jewelry district but here it's literally just one street everybody's crammed it's like you get no 
intel everyone's trying to like take you i was asking about like 24 karat gold items and they were just like no no we don't have it we don't know we don't know anybody and it's like really like you like refer me to somebody like i just don't understand why like they don't sell it here or maybe they do like some people do and i just don't know the person to buy them from or they're not allowed to like play it or talk about it i don't know it's very strange here but i just checked into my hotel i'm staying at the kixby and this room is ginormous compared to what i had and it's cheap so I'll just show you guys granted the area it's in Herald Square so it's kind of a little crazy here so I just got something from cost I'll show you guys that in a minute but look at look at all this space like the room that I had before was like literally half of this but this feels so nice and spacious I love the bedding like I love bedding that has this it looks really nice and clean although it's probably not clean so I have to sanitize it a little bit but you have these two little lounge chairs this is the desk to like do my makeup it's like nice lighting this is I love when it comes with dressers so I can like unpack but literally I'm only here for tonight and that's it and then I get to go back to LA this is the bathroom they have mulling goats mulling goats I love this oh these are great soaps for to clean your beauty blenders and then they give you like little mini slides which is always really nice shower pretty standard it has like a little up close mirror which is always nice i'm gonna unpack a few things that i need and that'll be it i also went to cos and i ended up getting this bag i love it i can't wait to wear it tomorrow for my workout it's like so nice and spacious it has so much room for everything i'm gonna carry this like with my carry-on ish like my long shop just for my bag tomorrow it's really big i have the bottle so much that i've been using it oh it does and it's perfect oh that's so nice this i love it for like a little on the shoulder moment imani has the white one and she says she uses it all the time so i'm really excited to wear this one tomorrow is basically going to be like a short day i just have i just have a workout and then i might book like a facial or a lymphatic massage and see what happens i just needed to be here today for my evening dinner and that's pretty much it i have to get ready in a bit, but not until six i'm probably just gonna wear like a different top i think maybe my zara one luna's like walking around right now wow i walked 12 thousand steps it's so easy to get your steps in here in new york because it's like you walk everywhere imani and i went to maman and it was so nice like i love i love the matcha i think the matcha itself tasted really good but i think i just i got it with like regular milk which i don't know i just tend to get regular milk sometimes and i think that's probably why i didn't really like it anyway i'm gonna do some editing on my computer and i need to open my luggage though. hi guys so, days like today really make me want to quit my job. Let's just say that like a dinner was not worth me rescheduling my flight, changing hotels, missing a day, like another day with my cat. I'm just like, I'm honestly just like so frustrated because the plan was not to stay in the city like an extra day. Like I have so much to do when I go home, especially with school and everything. And obviously that's not my job's fault. Like whatever they could care less but so bothersome this insignificant like dinner just like did not have to happen i feel like obviously when you're required to stay in the city for work it's like you think about what you gain versus what you lose and obviously you want your gains to be more than what you're losing that's not the case that's not the case i lost more so i had to call my kitty sitter again and i'm losing my time sleep energy everything so i'm gonna look for a flight right now it's just like so unnecessary like so unnecessary for me to be here all day tomorrow my flight's not until 4 p.m which means I don't have to be at the airport until, well, I think boarding is like four. I'm using an exfoliant, it's the Tatcha, I don't know, rice, something exfoliant. Yeah, there's no reason for me to be in the city until 4 p.m. like, or 2.30, whatever, whatever time the bus comes to go to the airport. Like, there is no, there's no reason to. I feel like if I can find a flight that leaves like at 6 a.m., it's 11, 6 a.m. would be out of like JFK or something. I'm like kind of far. I think, yeah, I think I'm closer to EWR. I feel like if people People are watching this they're probably like jenny like you get to stay in the city for like an extra day it must be so much fun blah, blah blah whatever like it's only fun if you're in the mood to like spend money and obviously i'm not i just like really need to save right now and the last thing i need to do is like frolic around the city and like go shopping and buy a bunch of stuff like it's just not i actually stopped myself from buying like 
a dress today and like a sweater and like other stuff it's just like not the time to be doing that right now it's not the time i'm a little frustrated to say the least i'm actually like i'm actually livid right now like actually livid i just put the topical cream wherever i have like dark spots so i have them here here on the temples i had a random series of breakouts like in this area it was the strangest thing ever i don't know if it was i doubt it was something i used like i don't know if it was like hormonal or what it was very weird going in with the lancome genifique literally i'm hopping on my computer right after this i'm probably gonna get like such a shitty seat because i'm booking it so last minute like a seat saver or something watch it's gonna be so bad i just want to see like what's available because I just cannot i cannot deal with this right now like this is unreal i'm so upset i just want to be home with luna i don't want to be in new york anymore i guess if i literally lived like just one train right away it would be so much easier because then i could just go home actually it's 11 the last train just left <laughs> but it's fine like i would i would go i don't know if anyone has ever felt like this outraged in my life and i feel like i'm not even translating it on <sighs> on the camera i feel like i'm being bullied at my job to be honest now <laughs> ever since my boss left and like who says that who says like oh you can't like change your flight like we're not gonna pay for the difference for it like i don't know it's so weird i've never had this happen to me before i mean regardless i'll just take it out of my savings i guess that's done i'm just wearing my headband because i have no other headband i changed into my pajamas already but literally looking for a flight right now let's do like nyc to lax one way today right and all the flights yeah okay so wednesday morning i guess four <laughs> four hundred and twenty two dollars what earlier ones jet blue oh wait there's a jet blue oh there's one stop four hours in vegas i could literally get like a flight in vegas like right when i land and then go home <laughs> i'll drive home <laughs> hi guys i was able to get a 9 a.m so i feel so much better but it is 1 15 a.m so I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to bed yet or if I'm just gonna stay awake and head to the airport like an hour early so I would leave here like at 6 and then get there at like 7 so then I would have to wait like an hour and a half but at least I would be at the airport <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do right now to be honest I have like my stuff down there it's not completely like packed but i think i'm just gonna wear this long sleeve put a bra under it for my montclair some lululemon leggings with my asics and call it a day like i usually don't like wearing workout clothes to the airport because i don't know I, I like dressing up and like looking nice but tomorrow is just not one of those days it's just not one of those days i kind of want to get a little organized and honestly i just don't feel like doing that right now so i'm going to sleep for a bit maybe like i don't know like three or four hours yeah i think that should be enough and then i'll wake up and i'll see you guys in the morning i'm just excited to go earlier than like four because four is just such a long time to be in the city and like not do anything i'm gonna be happy to be home I'm looking forward to it i'll see you guys later in the morning I'm all done packing and when I tell you guys that I'm the most efficient packer ever every everything's done everything fits okay and I did that in less than 10 minutes so I have this down to a T also my concealer is a little too yellow isn't it 
I swear, like, uh, this is Tetris. I was able to fit everything and then some. I definitely think that there's like a method to packing and like being able to fit everything that I did. I also didn't wear my white pants that I brought and then also like this other short sleeve top. I kind of just stuck to the shorts and then what else did I wear? Slacks. I also didn't really like go out to dinners except for work, so that kind of sucked. Next time. I'm going wild and out. Okay. I'm gonna live my best life the next time I come, so I guarantee you this will not happen again. But anyway, I'm all packed. The room is completely done. I do have a turmeric shot in here, so I'm gonna take that before I head out. Just from showing the juice. Let's do this. I had to mix the shot because it was like not mixed. It's actually not that bad drinking this. I like the taste of ginger shots and like turmeric shots. I feel like it, I don't know, it tastes good to me. I think I'm just used to it. Although I don't know if that was a ginger shot or if that was a turmeric. Did I get one of each? I might have gotten one of each because the ginger one I probably wanted to take it in the morning for digestion and then turmeric's really good for anti-inflammatory and like antioxidants. So let me just put my hair back. So I'll finish this in the Uber, go to the bathroom at the airport, and be good. Okay, let's see how much an Uber is. So I haven't taken public transportation from EWR, and it's the only one that I haven't. I just like don't know that I would get there in time right now if I did, so I'm not gonna risk it. Let me see. I've taken a public transportation from, from JFK and from LaGuardia, so I kind of like, I know my way around now. So I'm happy. But I feel like I've stayed somewhere over here before because I've taken 34th, the Herald Square. I don't remember what hotel was over here though. Oh, it had to be like Hotel Hendrix. I'm just gonna get an Uber. And it's not that bad either. It says I just have to take like the NRQW and then go to Times Square and then from Times Square, it's like a huge hub for all the subways and everything. And then you can also like exit at Port Authority and then like i'm supposed to just get a bus there and then go but oh my god eighty dollars actually hold on <gasps> i feel like we're in this position a lot like this filming setup but uh i promise that this will not happen again so i will take public transportation the next time i'm here to the airport and try it out but it's just like to laguardia and to jfk it's so much easier than doing it this way. I think I'm just scared of like Port Authority because I've seen it before and like, I don't know, it's not fun. But anyway, I'm going to gather my stuff and go downstairs. The Uber's gonna be here in like three minutes. Yeah, it went down to $73, thank God. It was like 78. I mean, it's only like $5 less, but it looks like a better price, so it's okay. And like, I have to get to the airport and I'm just like tired. Like you can physically see it in my face. You can visually see it in my face that I'm like, Exhausted, tired, drained. Do I want to move? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. And I just want to say that I'm very grateful that I even have the option, okay? To either move here or not. But, you know, sometimes you experience things and it's not for you. <laughs> and right now, this is not helping my case in moving to the city. Okay, let's go downstairs. I love this bag, it's so cute.